What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing. No idea what the frick we're about to, to see. Dire Straits, like, it's like a name that sounds familiar but I also don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm in for. This is exciting. This song was gracefully sponsored by Guy. Thank you, Guy, from the bottom of my heart. You said, Sebs, as a guitar fan, you will love this. Dire Straits Live, best always. It's been a while since we've done a video focused on uh, guitar playing and whatnot, so I'm excited for this. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You see the guitars in the back there. Yeah, I'm a guitarist, been playing since I was eight years old. But what I grew up playing was like neoclassical metal and stuff. Like I just was obsessed with like speed and all of that. I didn't, I didn't realize how beautiful you can sing with the guitar uh, until like until relatively recently, especially on our journey when like exploring Stevie Ray Vaughan and things as such. A oh, whole different side of the of this skill that I feel like I've really missed out on. So I'm excited for this too. Again, no idea what to expect out of this. Going through the comments. People just freaking love this. This video was posted 13 years ago and has 238 million views. I am nervous about us being able to even use, uh, you know, post this video. So if you know, we're going to have to take pauses here and there and just give us a, a better a better chance. Sometimes, because I haven't heard the song, I might pause it at the wrong time because you know what's coming. But again, I want to... I need to interrupt this this thing for these videos to, to stay up or at least having a higher chance of staying up. Like people are just saying, probably one of the most incredible life performances ever captured. The song and performance is a drug. La mejor canción de la historia, the best song in his in, in history, y punto, period. Well, OK, let's let's roll this. This video is freaking 10 minutes and 45 seconds long. Feels like I'm at a Tool concert again. Let's just do it. Let's move this guy right over here. And uh, thank you guys for clicking on this video and hanging out. Check out the description down below to find ways to support the channel. What the heck? Yeah, get the shiver in the dark. It's leaning in the park the main time. Right off the bat, we got to point out the fact homie looks like Johnny McEnroe just crushing on the guitar. He's not playing with distortion. Just clean as all freaking get out. And the other thing, just at that start, I don't want to rewind it back, but did you see the smile on the bass player's face? You love to see people you love, love what they do. You hear that? All my dream guitars in one shot, the Strat, the Telecaster. Make that guitar cry, yeah. Okay, 
I don't understand how a song can rock so freaking hard without distortion. It completely works, though. Sorry, the sun's coming out. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, so I have to close these guys. Written by singer and songwriter Mark Knopfler. Don't know how to say his name. <clears throat> you know that movie of John Travolta singing in the disco? For some reason, that's playing in my head. I think it's a song about just going to a club. <laughs> I don't understand the multitasking. He's he's soloing while singing. Sorry, I just saw some random dude in the corner there. What's going on here? Oh, he's playing the keyboard. Okay. Got it. Look at that transition. Dude. pause it before these next solos i want to focus all right so i've grown to really like um a lot of music from this generation where the vocals aren't all too impressive right i, I hope that's not an offensive thing to say but it actually like aids in the song it, it makes you feel like it's just this like a person you can relate to talking to you i don't know why it feels like that but it does to me so so awesome i do not understand again soloing and singing at the same time i don't understand that like john mayer does it too and it pisses me off so much and yeah just practice practice ah uh, man he's crushing it what's the drummer's name he plays with his fingers go he plucks Looking like it's a freaking banjo, dude. Sounds like a banjo. And he's only using these three fingers. Dude, I can't get enough of this bass player, bro. Dude. What a 
great layer with a piano there. Before there's a buildup. Dude, mu modern music just doesn't do this. The amount of crescendos and decrescendos using the same motif, but then going soft. Again, it feels like you're in a symphony, right? Because it's 10 minutes, all of these movements within. But it's rock. When that layer with the piano came in, geez, that was nice. This tennis player is the best guitarist I've ever seen, dude. What's his name? I need to look him up some more. We looked him up earlier. Look at that speed up. Look at this build up, dude. This is so dope, man. Here we go, dude. It's just not stopping, man. Yeah. Dude, I just can't stop listening to the song. Freaking have to pause it. The dude with the Telecaster, I was saying he was the bass player with that smile. No, he was he was the other guitarist. His joy, his smile is like totally infectious, man. Dude, what is up with this guy? How does he play like that with his fingers? I don't get it.
Again, dude, I, do, I don't understand. I don't understand finger plucking that way. That was one of the best things ever, bro. British rock band formed in London in 1977. Mark Knopfler, David Knopfler. So we got brothers here. I don't, dude, I, I, I'm probably saying their names wrong. Sorry. John Ilsey and Pick Withers. They were active from 1977 to 1988 and again from 1990 to 1995. Their first single, Sultans of Swing, from their 1978 self-titled debut album reached the top 10 in the UK and US. Dude, that was their first hit. I hear a lot of jazz in this, man. A lot of, again, and especially with the playing with the fingers and whatnot. Yeah, dude, master musicians. And, impe and, and impeccable. The drummer wasn't like listening to a metronome and whatnot, but he kept the tempo perfect. And when they did some of these tempo changes, also not too common in modern music anymore, they were just smooth and flawless. I think that's the only way I can describe that performance. Absolutely flawless. Yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. I feel like such a poser being a guitarist. Like I never, like not, I bet you guys are probably thinking that same thing, especially if you're a guitar player. Like how do you play guitar and not know of these guys? Well, you can play my brothers, dude, because I, I was just forced to listen to all of their music. Well guys, anxious to hear y'all's thoughts. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. Uh, you know, leave a comment down below. It just helps with the, uh, you know, reach of the channel in the description down below. As I mentioned earlier, you can find other ways to help and support. But wow, dude, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys. Till the next one. Peace out.